Hello and welcome to another One Funnel Away Challenge challenge review. We are in week one, mission four. It's about your e-covers and offer assets. And during the challenge, Stephen already provides you with a lot of possibilities that you can use. And while you can outsource everything to freelancers and pay them to create your e-covers, it actually is not hard to do it yourself. And you need to consider your opportunity costs. If you can do it yourself in 30 minutes and your hourly rate is, I don't know, uh, hundred dollars then you will lose fifty dollars of opportunity um, doing it yourself however if a freelance freelancer freelancer charges you more than those fifty dollars it would actually be the smart move to do it yourself and also consider that like again i mentioned it you're building a value ladder now in the challenge you're only building the first step of that value ladder but overall you're going to build more and more funnels as you go so you will need e-covers over and over and over again. So learning that skill yourself is actually not a bad idea because it will save you money as you go. And once you get a, a little good at it or good enough at it, you can actually build another income stream by offering your services to others on Fiverr, Funnel Rolodex and so on. I'm gonna quickly switch to my MacBook. And there you see uh, the tools that we are using. So you can use Snapper and don't worry, you'll find all the links in the description below this video. You can use Snapper to create your graphics uh, or Canva. On Canva, you would simply say, for example, um, ebook cover. And Canva is actually probably the better option because they, as you see, they offer you a lot of templates that you can start with. They also have on the left, you can go to photos and you can search for, I don't know, like um, sports and then just click on free and you see the free images that you can use. So you could just pick any template, let's say this one, and then you go to photos and you say sports and you say you want this picture and you just drag it big enough that it fits as a background. And you go to position to the back and one forward and what, yeah, almost. Oop. And yeah, there you, almost, there we go. So you see, and there is your, your new background. And then obviously you would need to adjust the font so it's better readable or you move it to the green here and so on. But it's very easy to do and voila, you have your ebook cover in 2D. Now, how do you turn it in 3D? The simplest solution is you had to a day's income. You'll also find a link in the description below and you click on free stuff for offers. And then you basically go to book mockup creator and you go to learn more and uh, you wait for the page to load eventually and you pick how you want it, uh, how you want your cover to be. For example, we want to use this here and all you have to do is upload the image. So here choose file so that the image that you created here, you download it from, actually let's do it real quick, download it from here. And it's going to download in a second. And once it's downloaded, we select it here. And um, then we're gonna enter my name and my email address. It may complain, I don't, I'm not sure when I downloaded it the last time because you can only use it, I think once a month for free, but just use a different email address. And voila, you will have an e-cover that looks like this or similar like this. You can, you're actually asked if you wanna, wanna buy um, other e-covers, yeah? So you can get like um, different things like that and that and that. Or on the top, the button, download your free mockup and it will start the download. And it literally, yes, I didn't adjust any text, but it literally took less than five minutes to create an e-cover that looks like this. Yeah, it's, yeah, it doesn't get any easier, honestly, paying a freelancer for that. If you cannot get that done, then yeah, then go pay a freelancer. But you see, it's very, very easy and you can do it in no time. The other option would be to use smart mockups. They also have a difference between free and paid plans, but there you would also, um, Basically, you would actually uh, uh, search for, I don't know, book and then scroll down and you will see different e-covers and how does it work here. Um, many things will be locked on the free version, but that one probably isn't. So you just upload your image again from your computer, in that case, the 2D mockup shot. And then you can crop it properly. Yeah, like I need to draw it, make it a little bigger actually because you see it doesn't fit in the proportions um, and crop and continue and it will be added here. Now, uh, customizing it, you can probably, or you can't in that case, let's check background green. No, that would be the general background. We don't want that um, image. 
upload okay we already uploaded it none uh branding only in pro yeah so in that case you wouldn't be able to adjust the the side of the book cover um, but you can check there are other mockups there on smart mockup as well where that may be possible as well um, the point is there is no reason for you to pay others for something that you can do in five minutes for free or 10 minutes and again you will need it over and over again now while adasing only has the book covers for you smart mockups actually has everything for you so you could say e-learning bundle and then you see that there's different options and again some of them or in that case all of them are only available on their premium account which uh, for one month will be fifteen dollars which is cheaper than what a freelancer is going to charge you and again you would upload the images it would tell you here which dimensions they should be so you can go actually to canva and you can say canva home and create a design custom dimensions and then you say 1920 times 1080 and you create your design for whatever you want to have here for example on the screen you could just use a screenshot of your members area that you have set up or something like that um, book cover again um, templates from canva and for the cd probably also like parts of the book cover or something like that and just make it in the dimensions that you see mentioned here and you're gonna be fine in that case this book cover actually for example considers the side of the book as well um, so you see when I hover it, it, it like that's the main front of the book cover and that's here the side of the book cover and yeah um, that's pretty much it like it doesn't get any easier and the only thing um, worth mentioning I um, yeah like let's go back real quick to the MacBook is once you're done with creating your covers um, first of all, put them in your funnel and then resize them. You don't need a 3000 times, times something picture if you only share or show your e-cover in a small version. So downscale them to the size they actually need and then go to tinypng.com and where we have like this free uh, this this 3D cover, you see it's 2.1 megabytes. It will increase the loading page of your funnel so drastically that your mobile conversions will suck. Then using tiny PNG, even without downscaling the image first, you see it, it loses 70% of its file size, but we're gonna download it. It still looks the same. There is no visible difference between the optimized and the non-optimized version. The only difference is this one has two megabytes and this one is 60 or 70% smaller, which means your page will load faster, your funnel loads faster, less people close the window, more people opt in, more people see your sales page, more people buy. So that's the last thing here to mention. Again, as always, if you have any questions about any of that, feel free to reach out within our group. If you're lucky enough and you're a member within our One Funnel Away group chat, ask there and otherwise comment below the video. Um, don't forget also consider when you do this yourself, you can get it done right now. If you already know what you're going to offer and, and you're, you know, like you can really get this done right now and it's done. When you hire freelancers, you might have to wait a couple of days and maybe you're not happy with the results and you have to hire another freelancer. In fact, the time you need to, to explain to a freelancer what you want on that cover, um, in that time you can actually do it yourself and have it done. So yeah. Don't forget, give this video a thumbs up if it helped you somehow, if it saved you some time, if you got something valuable out of it. And if you haven't done it before, hit that subscribe button now here in the corner so you don't miss out any future content. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow with another summary. Yes, there is. Let's check real quick. Yes, there is a mission five about creation. So tomorrow we're going to have another One Funnel Away Challenge summary. And yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching. Till then, bye-bye.